Ain't nobody giving us nothing. I don't want anybody to give me something. I want to take it. Let's go out there for 60 minutes, one play at a time, and get us some respect. Talk about the offensive system. Does that frustrate you when you talk about as much as it does in that regard? Can't wait till we get the point. What does the ACC need to do to kind of stop this whole drop they've been in the BCS drop they've been in? Gosh, I don't have any idea. I just got here. I wouldn't, <laughs> don't ask me that. <laughs> How much have you heard about Georgia since you got here and the priority list? About every day. <laughs> <laughs> the current players when you got there are used to playing in a different sort of office. Maybe the, the upper class one. Going into their last year, you make such a drastic change. Not really. It's not a democracy, so I really didn't ask their opinion. <laughs> so, I mean, I know if you had guys that said. Now, the gauntlet's been thrown down. They think they're tougher than we are. They think they're more physical. They think they're better than we are. They're going to come in our house and tell us that. We got 60 minutes to show them other. All right, congratulations. I don't know if they're going to question how much, how physical we are again. 88 yards. That's a good job getting enough to get it done. Found a way to win. Like they say, 27 more than zero. 27 more than zero. We still got a lot of stuff to work on. And I know this. I turn around, I look at all those goals over there. They all still there. Every single one of them. Now. Next week, we're going to be the halfway point of the season. We'll come back and go to work on Monday. Make sure after next week, we're 5 and 1. 5 and 1. Halfway through, and all those goals will still be right there. Right there to get ready to go. Proud of you. Play hard. Found the way. 21 oh, yeah. 17 every day. Yes, sir. Made some plays at the end. Took it in in the fourth quarter to get back the lead. Yes, Once we got the lead, they weren't getting it back in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Needs to start right now in here. Can't start in the second quarter. Can't wait till halftime for me to come in yelling. It's got to start right now. Snap. Ponder hands. This is Thomas. Bubble. Bubble the ball. And Georgia Tech, I think, has recovered. They have. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The Jackets have recovered the football in the end zone. Paul Johnson is a winner in his first try ever against Bobby Fowler. Great job. Great job finding a way to win the game. Now, we accomplished a couple of things. We accomplished bowl eligible. What did I tell you before the game? We take care of our business. Guess who got beat today? Virginia! And then we cut right back to top the conference. Right now on our side, we're right on top again. Right back on top. We got two games left. You gotta take care of business. I'm proud of you. Remember, he's pretty good on his feet. Snap to him in the gun. Pressure comes. He'll throw it's intercepted. Michael Johnson, 15, 10, fire, a touchdown, Georgia Tech. I don't know of any game this year we've been as ready to play. You can tell before the game we were ready to play. And I congratulate you on that. I know one thing. In the morning when we get up, we'll be Coastal Conference champions. Hey. Now, I don't know about tiebreakers and I don't know about any of that, but I know can nobody finish better than five and three in our game. We standing there, turn that damn thing up.
cracks at the end zone and two chances to defend it. Little throwback. Cersei decides to keep it. Dives for the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. It looked like a throwback to Justin Thomas. And instead, he just decides to take it in himself. And he's in. Boy, Cersei just said, forget it. I don't like what I see downfield. Tuck it and run it and extend to get it over the goal line. And Georgia Tech able to get it into the end zone. Not exactly how you drew it up, but the result that you desire. Coach against Notre Dame before. Is there, um, is there something uh, special about the stage of going up there, playing in South Bend? And uh, like any big game, you know they got a lot of tradition, a lot of history, and they've had some really good teams. But it's just like going to play anybody else. You got to get ready to go play. Uh, you, you know we never made a big deal about going there to play. Johnson, the basketball coach. Funny story about getting up. We were playing a rival in basketball when I was coaching in my high school. As a young coach, I got up and I thought it'd be real cute. I walked over to the scores table and like I'm counting the fouls, and the official came by and he goes, uh, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm just counting the fouls. Evidently, they can't get one. And he goes, uh, <clears throat> he says, you want a foul? And I said, yeah, I'd like to see you call one. He said, you got one. Boom, technical foul. <laughs> so now the story gets better. I looked at him and I said, you're going to call a technical foul on me for that? And he goes, yeah, and if you don't sit down, you're going to get another one. I said, well, come here. And he goes, what? I said, if you call another technical foul on me, you're going to have to read the paper and see who won because I'm going to knock you out. And he went, he hit me with another one, and the principal led me out of the gym. <laughs> I was like, that kind of shortened my basketball career. I understand. That, that reverse pass, you, you're serious? <laughs> well, I, I mean, some quarters do and some, some don't. I mean, I, the, uh, yeah, I mean, when the receiver puts his hands up and looks back, you better look back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Mercer, I'm neutral. <laughs> hey, not in here, you're not. <laughs> Coming on.
on the option, got the block, 30, 25, 20, and Desmond 10, 5, touchdown Georgia Tech. today at right guard. It yeah, didn't or? matter. They beat the fool out of us in the tackle box. They beat the fool out of us in there. You say what you want. I don't know. You know, we rushed for 460 yards. Everybody talk about what a great job they do. Keep telling them that. They got their ass whipped. You're on the air with. Hello? Yes, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> hello, hello. He just got off from Walmart. No. <laughs> uh, I got, I got, there's some great fans from both teams. Yeah. And most of the fans are classy, but anybody who calls into radio show and barks is either retarded or doesn't have a life. <laughs> Do I need to sugarcoat it any better than that? No, no, that was. I feel confident that'll make the rounds right there. We're good. <laughs> Really, what kind of what? Do, what does that say about what you're doing when you call into a radio show and bark? <laughs> I mean, I'd be embarrassed if that was our fans. I don't think our fans would do that, Coach. People were giving you credit. Everybody thought that you know we got picked last in our division, kind of pissed us off. And, uh, you haven't beat Georgia since 2008. How does this one feel? Oh, it feels great. I'm actually two and two here in Athens. We're not terrible. We're going to be in your town of all. We ain't done nothing. We ain't done nothing. But it feels great to be for <laughs> Seniors, we love you. We're going to miss you. We're going to lay the foundation. We're going to get back in January. Work. 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 This one game doesn't define a season. No, With all due respect does. to the other wins, I don't remember you showing off your vertical at the end of the game getting all fired up. Uh, what does this mean? Hey, I'm two and two and happens. Yeah. What does it mean? <laughs> do what? What does it mean? It means that we're the state champs, and they have to take down that gun we run this state sign for a year. <laughs> but other than I mean, one game does not define the season. Uh, ten wins defines the season and a chance to play for the ACC championship next week. That defines the season. Beating Georgia is icing on the cake. Can you talk about what it's like? You're, I think, the first coach probably in 50 years to win three here. Not bad for a bunch of 80 Frank recruiting classes. No more. <laughs> what did you say to the team, I guess, to keep that, keep the positive momentum going in the fourth quarter you're down 13? You just keep playing. I don't know of any game this year we've been as ready to play. You can tell before the game we were ready to play. And I congratulate you on that. I know one thing. In the morning when we get up, we'll be Coastal Conference champions. Hey. I don't know about, about tiebreakers and I don't know about any of that, but I know, Ken, nobody finished better than 5-3 in our division. We need to celebrate, dude. Andrick McDowell is in at the running back spot. To the other side of the middle. Jameer Thomas. First the receiver. Then Sammy Watkins. This pass too high and it's picked off. Jip wide. Than Sammy Watkins. This pass too high.
Yeah, he went to the locker room hurt. Holcomb ran free all day for them. It seemed 22 tackles. That's good. I imagine you're just... They also gave up 570 yards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from 53, from the left hash, to remain unbeaten, and perhaps a player in the college football playoff, and the 29th consecutive conference win. Blocked! Snuffed! Rubbed out! Erased! And Georgia Tech with an opportunity! Austin, still on his feet! One man! You can't believe what just happened! What a time to be alive! Lance Austin for the winning touchdown. Walton escaped. The whole game came back, found a way. We've had so many this year. You've seen it all. We've had so many this year that have gone the other way. I'm just so proud of our guys. They fought and fought and fought. We made a lot of mistakes, but we fought the whole game and came back, found a way. What was the mindset of the team? You lose five straight. It's just a great opportunity. You've got a top ten team in your house. Go out and have some fun and play hard, and our guys did that. What do you think made the difference in the fourth quarter? I don't know. Our whole team played well. Defensively, we, we played the run so much better and what about this scene coach what's this like for you that's what it's all about that's college football congratulations 94 yards this time passes and it is intercepted intercepted picked off picked off it's picked off it is cj white who intercepted it and the jackets have come into athens and stunned georgia in one of the best football games you will ever see for the next 364 days, the state of Georgia belongs to the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech. Beat Mississippi State 49-34 to claim the 2014 Orange Bowl title. Just a remarkable, remarkable... Any course in particular? Uh, par three. Four. The last time I shot 69, I was with your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did your wife know? That, that's a, we all know that's a joke because you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Get this over. Oh, no, it's terrible. That's his rookie stuff. You got to come in. Push him. Now they chased him. Okay. Fashion. 49 to 30. Your team was able to set an Orange Bowl rushing record here today and operated with precision. What get the victory in a very loud fashion? What kind of statement did Georgia Tech football make today? Well, this is a good football team. I think we're a top 10 football team for sure, and I'm proud of these guys. And for at least a week or two, we don't have to hear about the SEC. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks. Paul, you mentioned that first play where Marcus scored on the long pass. Did you see something in Bandy's tape that led to that call? Yeah. Could you elaborate at all? Yeah, I knew that they'd have to have a linebacker on him on the wheel route, and he's pretty fast. Can you talk about the first play? Is that something you saw and you guys wanted to exploit? I was just luck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, I mean, what, was, well, maybe you, what was it that you saw that, that I mean, you wanted to get him single, I guess, on, on 44? Well, it's just the matchup. After speaking with his team this afternoon, as I mentioned, spent 11 seasons on the Tech sidelines. He started coaching at Avery County High School in North Carolina in 1979. Three stints at Georgia Southern, two stints 
at Navy. 61 year old guided the Yellow Jackets to an 82 and 59 overall record. And that includes eight bowl appearances, three chip trips to the ACC Conference Championship game, the fourth winningest coach in Georgia Tech school history. Very few people in this profession, if this is the ending, get to write their ending. They usually get escorted out. Uh, somebody was telling me this in my office this morning, I guess I'm the first coach at Georgia Tech since Coach Dodd that didn't either get fired or take another job. So this doesn't happen very often that you get to kind of choose your ending. But I also didn't want to, uh, you know, the first thing that happens when you go out and recruit, uh, I've kind of prided myself throughout my 40-year career of trying to be straight up. And I think most of the guys who played would tell you that. Uh, I wasn't going to sit in the house and when the first question is, how long are you going to coach, say, uh, maybe another year. A, a year, you, you know, and so that had had something to do with it. And the timing now, I thought that we needed to do it early because whoever that they hire to be the coach, we've got 15 commitments. I think they're good players, but it'll be up to that coach and, and Todd with what they want to do with them. And it gives them an opportunity if the guy doesn't want them or Georgia, to, you know, to, to do something with early visits. And uh, it'll give the coach an opportunity. You know, last thing I wanted to do was go sign a recruiting class for a, for a new guy coming in. I mean, he needs to be able to, to pick his own guys. So, yeah, that had the, a lot to do with it. It would have been easier just to wait until after the bowl game, but I, I wasn't going to mislead recruits and I wasn't going to mislead other people. You accepted it. And, I mean, how much is that, that grind of having the, the academic expectations, all of the stuff that comes in with that? and just the, the grind of the schedule even these days <clears throat> and just the overall kind of things that have happened over the years kind of been a, a factor in all of this? Where you're well, I think it's all probably a factor. I mean, it, it, it all factors in. Uh, every job is hard. I mean, every job is unique. Certainly this job is unique. Uh, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's not impossible. I mean, we, we managed to win. Uh, a lot of games. We went to three ACC championship games. We played in two Orange Bowls and one. I mean, we did things here since they hadn't done since the 60s. And, uh, it, it, you know, the I was, I was looking this morning, I think, against the top ten teams that we played since we've been here. We were four and four. And that's the best record probably since, in the modern era anyway, you know, against top ten teams. So, it's not impossible. I mean, we did some good things. <clears throat> Are there some differences between here and other places? Absolutely. Way to go, Jackets! Way to go! Woo! Way to go, Jackets! Way to go! Woo! Jackets! Way to go! Woo! Way to go, Jackets! Way to go! Coach. Way to go, Jackets! Great career. He has a winning record in his 11 seasons at Tech. He's taken the Yellow Jackets to nine bowl appearances, including winning the 2014 Orange Bowl, one of the most winningest coaches in FBS history.